Hilarious guess has got the field in trouble. Out by two links from Jarvis Skipper down the inside. Sugar Ray Robinson. Enterprise and Camel out of the next two. They're in the lane. 250 to go. Hilarious guess out in its own by two links from Jarvis Skipper. Enterprise setting out to bridge the gap. And then we have Camelot. 150 to go. Hilarious guess. Jarvis Skipper coming at it with great guns. Enterprise on the inside to bend. Hilarious guess on the outside. Jarvis Skipper. But Hilarious guess is too good. Jarvis Skipper can't pull anything out. Hilarious guess. Jarvis Skipper. Enterprise took third. One of the quickest risers to open class came from a horse in Richard Brosnan's stable. At that stage, the second string in the team behind Bonnie's chance. His name was Darby. Number six in the book tonight will be driven, surprisingly, by Jack Smolensky. And we understand Richard Brosnan is not the best at the moment, and uh, we hope, uh, Richard, you're watching this show and you're feeling a lot better. We hope also that, obviously, you get the result that you're seeking tonight. Well, Darby has done everything right. In recent starts, he's uh, had some pretty tough company to contend with, and none more so than perhaps the Travel Lodge free-for-all at the Addington Cup Carnival when he met the very good Australian horse, Steel Jaw. Left to run and Diamond Moose just the leader, being challenged by Steel Jaw only a head away the outside. Darby's had the run of the race. Hilarious Guest and Ben starting to take off around the outside. They were followed in by Stampede. In behind them by my Mana hands down and Camelot. They're coming wide for their runs. Further back, the kind nature of Bonnie's chance. Hilarious Guest has dropped out. They're in the straight, 220 to run. And Steel Jaw has made the lead. Steel Jaw, the cup winner in front. And now Darby's out to challenge and Stampede the rail. And further out to my Mai. Mana and hands down, plodding down the outside. But Steel Jaw's going to win the free all. Steel Jaw has won it and flying home for second enterprise. A brilliant effort by Steel Jaw to win, but note that run of Derby. He's had run one run since that and uh, ran a very good second. He's obviously going to be ready for tonight's big race. Well, what can you say about the 10-year-old mare, delightful lady? She's done everything. Two Auckland Cups to her credit so far. She's won 44 races. And tonight, in fact, and how appropriate that it should be this Auckland Cup, she'll be trying for win number 45, which would equal Lordship's effort. And what a marvellous feat that would be. Will she do this to them, uh, this particular effort, 1981 and the Auckland Cup? She's away by eight lengths as they come round the showground then chasing her as idle mate. Further back to Paul Commanders, two lengths away to Lord Mudgell. They will follow the length of the quarterback on the outside, Java Boy, and down on the inside of Sapling. Homeward down in the cup and the late for Lady by six lengths at the moment as they straighten up for the run of the judge. In second, Beth is idle mate and further back to Paul Commanders, Lord Mudgell. At the 150 metres, it's the late for Lady, she's out by five lengths. Idle Mike trying to bridge the gap and Lord Mudgell down the outside and Sapling on the inside. But delightful lady's got a second Auckland Cup one. She's coasting to an easy victory. Wins it by three lengths from Idle Mike. A marvellous mare and let's hope she performs well here tonight in the Max Harvey Auckland Trotting Cup. Well, what of the other prospect? There's one other horse that we feel we should mention. His name is Aumana. He also made a dramatic rise to open class. 14 months ago he was a maiden. He gave uh, Northern lovers a taste of his uh, ability only very recently. In fact, at the Christmas meeting, when he lined up in the Benson and Hedges Flying Mile. Salmana from Camelot on the outside, Ben on the inside trailing. Sugar Ray Robinson, one out and one back, three back to Miss Cleveland, followed by Rain Girl and Mai Mai. And John Tudor last past the 14, out of they come, and Salmana the leader. On the outside to Camelot, then Ben, they're followed then by Sugar Ray Robinson, Rain Girl and Mai Mai, very wide as they swing in. Almana lined them up from Camelot on the outside and Ben down on the inside. And Mai Mai coming with a great run down wider out. Almana at the 150. Mai Mai coming out to challenge now on the inside to Ben and Rain Girl. At the moment, Almana. Then we've got Mai Mai down on the inside of those to Ben. They're followed by Rain Girl, but Almana's too good. Well, there we are. That was Armana, one of the uh, four best prospects in this race. Well, the horses now for the Max Harvey Auckland Trotting Cup of 1984 are making their way onto the track. Let's have a close-up look at them now with the commentator John May. And a very high-class field it is, and there's one of the great favourites, number seven, hands down, just going out. Winner of a New Zealand Cup, absolutely invincible at Addington Raceway. Not quite so good this way round, but this could be his year up here, hands down. The rest of the starters starting to come out onto the track. You can see Derby in picture there at the present time. Had a meteoric rise to fame, this horse, as Phillips already mentioned. Looks trained to the minute. Uh, and if I had to put my neck on the block, I think I'd go Derby's way. I was with him in the New Zealand Cup. Disappointing, perhaps just a little. I think this might be his night tonight. 
There's our mana, number nine, Colin de Philippi, and of course our mana goes on Wednesday to represent New Zealand in the Inter-Dominion Championships in Adelaide, and certain to give a good, of account, a good account of himself tonight, and also hopefully across the Tasman. Horses warming up, they uh, are like trained athletes, these horses, they must be fit, ready, and rearing to go when the mobile barrier pulls away. There's Darby just jogging around. In the back straight looks very settled indeed. Jack Smolenski the driver. And uh, Derby was the early favourite for sure. And I think perhaps at this stage we should have a look at the dividends and give you an idea of what your fancy in the cup might be paying with just a few minutes to go. Number one, hilarious guest, $5.70, $2.10. Two diamond moose, $23 the win, $6.70 the place. Barana number three, 53 for the win and $12 for the place. Four Dylan Dale, $28 to win, $7.20 the place. Number six is Derby at $5.90 and $2.10, looks like the early favourite. Seven hands down, $7.80 and $3.00. Eight Joy Boy, eighteen dollars to win, five dollars thirty the place. Nine Armana, seven twenty and two sixty, pretty good odds there. Ten Delightful Lady, eight dollars seventy and three dollars twenty, the best she's ever paid in an Auckland Cup, that's for sure. Eleven My My, seventeen dollars the win, four dollars eighty the place. Thirteen Enterprise, the drive of Peter Wolfenden, seven dollars thirty and two dollars forty. 15 Rain Girl, the Northern Hope perhaps at 980 and 330. 16 Gillia's Chance, the Outsider at 66 to win, $15 the place. And the ever consistent Ben, who's never out of the money, $20 the win and $4.70 the place. Well, John likes number six Derby, and you can understand why. And I have a special preference for number one hilarious guest, the front runner in tonight's uh, Auckland Trotting Cup. Well, I suppose we've got our opinions, but how do the two drivers who will drive those two hot prospects in tonight's race feel about this effort? Well, I've got no pre-race plans, Philip. Uh, I'm uh, quite happy to drive in behind if something that looks that can carry me right up to a half from home, but we'll just have to wait and see what develops. What type of race do you think it will be tonight with the type of field we've got? I think it'll be a good race, and I think it'll be a hard one race because it's a very, very even field. So uh, I couldn't see any slackening in pace. No, well, you could well be setting that pace, obviously, with hilarious guests, but who do you consider the hardest for her to beat? I would say our mana would be the hardest, and I think Derby's in with a very good show. Not that I don't think the North Island horses have not without a chance, but I th respect those two horses. Jack Smolenski, do you consider yourself a lucky man to have picked up the drive on Derby? Oh, he's very lucky, yes. Uh, um, Richard took ill um, last Sunday and uh, they advised me Tuesday to arrange the air tickets in case Richard couldn't arrive, so it was confirmed yesterday afternoon. I'm sure he'll be an anxious viewer tonight watching the telecast of the Cup, but uh, how do you hope to drive Derby in the race? Oh, well, doing as nice as run as I can and uh, from the draw he's got, uh, yeah, I think we should get a good run from him. Does he strike you as the type of horse that could win the Auckland Cup tonight? Well, his young horse hasn't uh, raced that much. Um, he raced good over the cup meeting, New Zealand Cup meeting. Uh, ran good to, to steal draw on the free for all. Yes, I think he's in with a chance with a good run. And who's the hardest to beat, in your opinion? Oh, there's three or four there, but hilarious guess for the draw. Uh, our man has drawn bad, but he's been going well at the trials down home. And uh, I would say that'd be the main two. And so there are the opinions of two of the uh, leading drivers in tonight's race, Jack Smolenski and, of course, our world champion driver, Bob Cameron. Well, the field now parading uh, on the track. And let's look, uh, first of all, at a mare who's done more for Northern Trotting than anyone. That's the one on the inside, number 10, Delightful Lady. Gary Hillier of Kumu is the trainer. He will be driving her tonight for Davy Anderson, uh, her owner, and a 10-year-old, well, it's amazing to see you paying such lucrative money, 9, 10 and 340, John. Who would have ever believed that? Well, I think the barrier draws the problem. You see, with the scratching, she comes into 9 at the gate, which is the extreme outside. With speedsters drawn 1, 2 and 3, she's going to be gasping a bit over that uh, first little bit, but there's no question about it. Uh, those are extraordinary odds for a mere of her ability. Justin, behind there is number 8, and that is Joy Boy. Uh, Joy Boy is a... Uh, 
going now for three wins in succession is uh, travelled up from Christchurch and Trevor Thomas will drive. Number eight, Joy Boy. Yes, his form's very good, Max, uh, Philip, but I really don't think that he's up to this class. Uh, he won the Wellington Cup very stylishly, no question about that, but there were no open-class horses in that, and his last win at Forbury Park was in a slower-class front race, and while Joy Boy shows a great deal of potential and a, certainly a lot of ability, I think he may struggle against the very good horses he's up against tonight. One of the favourites for tonight's race is the mare that uh, I like particularly, number five, uh, number one, shall I say, hilarious guest. Morris Vermeulen of Rangiora is the trainer. She'll be driven in tonight's effort by Bob Cameron. And from number one at the gate is going to be pretty hard to beat. This is going to be the interesting uh, facet of the race in the early part, I suspect, Philip, because Hilarious Guest will obviously want to lead. Diamond Moose is drawn too. It's always best in front. And Barana's been a noted front runner as well. And I think a great deal, uh, as far as the final result's concerned, will depend on the driving tactics of those horses that have drawn one, two and three. And Hilarious Guest will certainly not easily surrender the lead. Marvellous mare, as tough as they come, one of the very few fillies to win a derby as a three-year-old, won the messenger here as a four-year-old, showed nothing very much at all early in the season, but certainly right back to her best tonight and is obviously trained to go the race of her life. 14 starters in all in the Max Harvey Auckland Trotting Cup and uh, they're making their way now into the uh, front straight. You can get just an idea as they move down here. Uh, there is uh, one or two of the prospects in the race. Uh, 16 it is, uh, we're looking at, and that is Julia's chance. I'll tell you what confused me there for a minute, and I bet you'll agree with me, John. Those colours, uh, I was looking for uh, hands down, of course, but of course his uh, colours have changed. Here is number 16, Julia's chance. Uh, Derek Jones uh, has been training Julia's chance, a seven-year-old who originally raced uh, in the south. And those of you that recall the Inter-Dominion coverage from here just on a year ago will remember that Jalea's chance broke down so badly during those championships. It was thought at one stage she may not race again and uh, she provided the boil over of the year at Addington at her last start when she won by a bare nose from Derby. So Jalea's chance, perhaps not the least of the chances, but will find it tough from the second row draw. As you can see, she lost form, then came up pretty well with a sixth, the third, and a fine win at Addington, and that was a matter of about uh, a month ago at New Year. 16, Jalea's chance, and uh, moving just alongside her is uh, number four, Dylan Dar, but here's 17. Uh, this is uh, Ben, who's a pretty popular little horse in the north. He's uh, a five-year-old. He's chained, uh, trained by Brian and Jack Hughes at Pukakai, and in tonight's event will be driven by Graham Reeks. And it's interesting, Philip, that uh, Ben tonight will reach something of a milestone with the $2,000 starting fee at worst as far as his cup stake winning is concerned. Ben joins the list of $100,000 paces as prior to tonight he'd won $99,637 from 15 wins and 18 placings. And he's been the absolutely consistent open class place getter up here in the north. I can't remember when he was last out of the money and it's unfortunate that the outside of the second row means he's going to have a tough run tonight. 17 Ben as we look now at number 13 in the race Enterprise. Now, this is one of the big prospects for New Zealand at the uh, Inter-Dominion Championships forthcoming at Adelaide and uh, the ace driver, the leading driver in the country and he's been in that position for a few years uh, aside from his uh, last year effort uh, is uh, Peter Wolfen. Peter Wolfen to drive 13 Enterprise. And Enterprise I think is the horse that may benefit from the uh, speed tactics of the horses drawn one, two and three because he's drawn in just behind them on the second row and Peter Wolfenden will undoubtedly pick up a good spot for him early and I rate Enterprise a real chance. He was injured after the cup meeting at Eddington when he raced so splendidly and I saw him have his last start first up since then at Timaru earlier in January in pouring rain from 40 metres behind. He was only just beaten and has obviously improved a good bit since then. Four minutes to start time as we look at number nine, our mana, Colin de Filippi of Christchurch Trains, the five-year-old, and he will drive him in uh, today's race, or tonight's race. Uh, a pretty consistent sort of animal, this John. He's had a great rise to open car, open class. Well, yes, exactly. Uh, won his first race only about 13 or 14 months ago, did our mana. Uh, Colin de Filippi having a marvellous season, driving not only his own team but, uh, but other outside drives as well. So our mana will want for nothing in terms of the horsemen behind him. And very impressive up here last time out, was equally so at his last trials run in Christchurch before he came north. And uh, although he's drawn a little wide, I'm quite sure that Alman is going to be one of the toughest to beat.
Here is number 15, Rain Girl, a uh, five-year-old mare. A lot of five-year-olds in this race, uh, trained uh, by uh, Bob and Robert uh, Mitchell at uh, Cambridge and to be driven tonight by Robert Mitchell, Jr. 15, Rain Girl, and a very strong tip in the north here a couple of nights ago, John. Yes, Philip, I was at the Matamata meeting at Cambridge last night and I was informed by the, the knowledgeable punters of the north that this mare would win the cup. Well, I dearly hope for the Northern uh, punters' sakes that she does. She's been a tremendous uh, racehorse right through. Her best win would be the final of the DB Flying Philly Stakes at Eddington when she was a three-year-old. She's already won 12 races and something over $106,000. And uh, again, the problem will be, I suspect, that from the second row, she's going to need an awful lot of luck in the early rush. Paddy Timmins will drive number 11. Mai Mai has probably travelled the furthest, has come all the way from Invercargill from uh, Ron McDonald's stable and uh, this horse is a pretty smart animal make no bones about that one his form is very good and I suppose in light of the fact that he'll follow hilarious guest in the run uh, to the start he's got to be some sort of chance no question about that uh, actually I suppose you just about have to call my my an adopted northerner because the McDonald's have had him up here since before Christmas and they've not been back south since and I know they were terribly concerned about the uh, the awful flood problem that uh, you Southlanders have had and uh, they missed it all up here, of course, but uh, they're expecting Mai Mai to go the race of his life, without any doubt. Large crowd here tonight for the uh, Max Harvey Auckland Cup, and I might add that there's uh, around about 300 to 400 uh, Asian delegates from the Asian Racing Conference. That'll probably be why that stand looks uh, extra full tonight, but uh, a big crowd of them here tonight after uh, having enjoyed a week of festivities and uh, business sessions in Auckland, the Asian Racing Conference, which uh, concludes uh, tomorrow evening. I understand, Philip, a lot of the delegates have not, in fact, seen trotting or harness racing as we know it. And I was upstairs just a, a few minutes ago, and uh, uh, many of them were keenly interested in uh, a spectacle which was a real novelty to all of them. The big horse there in the uh, middle or at the back is number two, Diamond Moose. Nelson Delzell of Colverton is the trainer, and uh, he'll be driven by uh, Robin Butt tonight. In fact, he's just out, uh, out the back there, but Diamond Moose, a pretty good performer. He might be up against it, however, with the class. Right, Diamond Moose uh, will be of interest to uh, viewers because he is the biggest standard bred racing that I uh, know of. He's something over 17 hands tall, and you certainly won't miss him. And um, Nelson Dalzell from Culverton, and north of Christchurch, trains him, and Nelson told me that as a young horse he was so big and ungainly that he really showed no ability at all and then he just suddenly put it all together and uh, of course was a last start winner on the first night of the Wellington Cup meeting has really done best when allowed to bowl along in front and whether Robin Butt will be able to get him to the front with hilarious guests drawn inside I'm not too certain but uh, the first quarter is going to be an enthralling spectacle as this race develops tonight So the $180,000 Max Harvey Auckland Cup is about to get underway. The field is on the journey. Number one hilarious guest uh, will more than likely lead them out, but there'll be strong challenges. Can Derby, the horse that's made uh, a dramatic rise to open class, be in the money? Maybe old hands down. Will it be his night tonight? There's Delightful Lady going for 45 wins. And then, of course, there's Enterprise and Peter Wolfenden. And you always have to be aware of Peter Wolfenden. The Max Harvey Auckland Trotting Cup of 1984 about to get underway with commentator Reg Clapp. Down to the start with Almana hanging back. Racing this time. And the McTarvey 1984 Auckland Trotting Cup field are away. And Dylan Dale had broke as the barrier pulled away. And down on the inside and going for the lead is Diamond Moose Barana on the south side is Joy Boy. Settling in the trail, the favourite hilarious guest round the outside. Delightful lady made a flyer, then Derby. They're followed a length away by Almana. Through on the inside is by my length and a quarter enterprise followed by Rain Girl. On the rails, Gilles chance on its outside to Ben and Dylan Dale, and hands down appears to be out of it altogether. They come on now past the 2,200 metres pole and the leader, Diamond Moose. In behind and getting the trail is hilarious guest around the outside now, Joy Boy to face the breeze. In the 1-1 one, one at the moment is Varana, three back on the inside is Mai Mai. Nice deep place on the outside, delightful lady, a length of Derby down its inside is Enterprise. A length away to Armana, through on its inside, Gilles chance, a length away to Rain Girl. Through on the inside is Dylan Dale.
Dale and Ben is at the rear with about five lengths away. Their hands down as they work onto the 1900 metres mark in the 84 Auckland Trotting Cup and Diamond Moose the leader. By a length and a quarter, the favourite Hilarious Guest gets the trail. Out phasing the breeze now is Joy Boy and three deep on the inside is My My pulling just the shade. On its outside, a nicely placed in the 1-1 one -one is Barana. Delightful ladies, nicely placed the length away on the inside of Delightful Lady, then Enterprise on its outside and going well as our mana. They're followed just in front as Derby. On the inside, then to Jalea's Chance, followed by Rain Girl with 1,600 to go in the cup. And down on the inside, Dylan Dale. They're followed then by Ben and three lengths away to hands down at the rear. They go into the showground. Ben now with 1,500 metres to go and Diamond Moose the leader. A length on Joy Boy, the breeze on the outside. Hilarious guest down on the inside getting the trail. Three back on the fence is My My in the 1-1 one -one on the outside is Verona. They're followed a length away on the outer by Delightful Lady down its inside is Enterprise. Enterprise is followed through then by uh, Julius Chance and Jack Smolensky. He's starting to shoot Derby around the field and Colin the Philippi gets out of the back of Derby with 12 and meets to go. They're followed then by Rain Girl is wide on the outside of Julius Chance. On the inside to Dylan Dale and Ben and hands down is at the rear. They start to pack up a shade now with a thousand to go and Derby's trying to make the lead from Diamond Moose and Joy Boy. A hilarious guest getting into a pocket on the inside. They're followed on the outside. Our mana round the outside goes the late for Lady. On the rails and looking to get out is by my then on the outside is Barana. True on the inside is Enterprise. They're followed by Dylan Dale and Julia's Chance. And down on the inside is Ben. They're followed then on the outside by Rain Girl and hands down is at the rear. Down past the 800 and delightful lady by a neck now from Derby. Out by two legs now on the inside and drifting is Diamond Moose Joy Boy on the other. They're followed then by Armana, followed by Hilarious Guest looking to get out. Enterprise has got out from a tight spot. Ben True on the inside and Dylan Dale. My My on the outside. They're followed by Rain Girl. Wider out to Barana. Hands down and Jaleas Chance are at the rear. Now the pressure goes on in the cup and delightful lady. On the inside, Derby won't leave it alone. A length and a half to Joy Boy. They're followed then by Armana coming right into an Enterprise. They're followed down to the inside again then by uh, Diamond Moose retreating and my my round the outside. They're in the lane now, 250 to go. And Derby led them in from Delightful Lady and Armana down the outside. But Enterprise has made a storming run to hit the lead. Enterprise in the lead from Armana. They're followed coming down the outside as Dylan down as Joy Boy. Derby's gone at the 150 though. Enterprise the leader from Armana right on the outside. Dylan down through to Derby. Coming out well as Jenny has chance. All Enterprise, one of my four legs. Armana second. They're followed by Dylan Dale. Then hilarious guest. Never saw daylight. Down on the inside, Derby followed then by Rain Girl, Angela's Chance. Then Joy Boy, delightful lady, couldn't stay. They're followed on the outside by Ben, further back Marana. They're followed then by Hands Down. Hands Down is followed in by Mai Mai. And <coughs> last of all was Diamond Moose. And Peter Wolfenden has won the Auckland Cup again on number 13 Enterprise. Counties. At $8.20 the win and $2.50 the place. Number nine out. Well, there it is. The 1984 Max Harvey Auckland Cup won in very impressive style by what I think is one of the real up-and-coming horses in the country, Enterprise, driven by the master rangeman here at Alexandra Park, Peter Wolfenden. And uh, he sat back early, but my goodness me, when the pressure was on, this horse delivered the goods along with Peter Wolfenden, and it was a most impressive performance from both horse and driver. And Enterprise now must be one of the top prospects for the Inter-Dominions in Adelaide. Now let's have a look at them as they turn for home. Derby on the inside, working hard. Delightful lady outside him. Three wide to our mana in the blue colours. Enterprises four wide, coming right down the, out, the outside of the track. Derby still there but under pressure. Delightful Lady fading now. Our mana with the red shadow roll coming into it. But Enterprise down the outside is much too strong. Under a drive from Peter Wolfen and Colin de Philippi getting anxious now on our mana. Derby fading, Delightful Lady fading. Joy Boy still there and a run coming from Dylan Dale but much too late on the outside. Enterprise now coming down towards the line. He's got the cup in safekeeping. Peter Wolfenden shakes the reins and says this is it, we've won it. Down to the line he goes. Wins it very comfortably indeed. It's a good margin back to the second horse. There's the winner, number 13, Enterprise. My My second. Then we've got Dylan Dale runs on well for third. And that was a good performance because he broke early. Well, Pat, Pat Heffernan, uh, you've pretty well done the impossible from what seemed an impossible draw and the Masters carried you through. Uh, he's a good driver. And um, I think a lot of the horse. Uh, he's had a good solid preparation. And I think that... Uh, sort of been aimed to uh, get a big race, one big race. You've taken this horse now to the Inter-Dominions, that would have been the perfect result for you obviously with that in mind. 
Yes, that is true. Um, I know that the Australian competition is pretty good and he's not a great mobile horse, but uh, he was particularly well driven tonight, almost to the distractions, and he carried the day for me. There'll be a lot of people in the south, I think, who'll be excited about that result, won't they? Uh, very much, very much. Anyone you wanted to say hello to just at this stage? Uh, my wife and family. Pat Heffernan, congratulations. Go out and enjoy the winning the Max Harvey Auckland Cup of 1984. And here... Well, there's a very happy Pat Heffernan and uh, obviously a very happy Peter Wolfenden and Enterprise down there in the winner's circle at the moment. And uh, the punters who stayed loyal to the man who's won an awful lot of Auckland Cups and just added another one to the list uh, will be very happy, I'm sure, with the dividend when it comes through too. Enterprise just getting a little scratchy out there. Uh, I'm quite sure that he'll be very happy to get back and get unharnessed and hosed down because uh, that was a mighty effort. He was back early but really carried too many guns for them over the final part and for a horse that's had only one totalisator start since the cup meeting in November, a very fine training achievement by his owner and trainer Pat Heffernan from Dunback up in central Otago. Won't be long before the presentation takes place, but he was a very decisive winner. Uh, the second horse was number nine, our mana, and fourth, a uh, third rather officially was number four, Dylan Dale. Won't be long before we have dividends, and uh, we'll be able to wrap up the result as far as the financial side of things is concerned of the 1984 Auckland Cup. Peter Wolferton and Enterprise, just there waiting for the officials to gather before the presentation of the cup. Number nine, our mana, perhaps gallant in defeat. Uh, the wide draw certainly didn't help in the early stages of the race and he dropped back a fair way, but ran on pretty strongly. And Enterprise and uh, our mana both going to um, Adelaide for the 1984 Inter-Dominion Championships, which begin in a week's time. And obviously both horses in splendid form and that uh, augurs well for our chances in the championships. And number 13, certainly no drawback as far as Enterprise uh, was concerned. It wasn't an unlucky number in the 1984 Max Harvey Auckland Cup. Dividends are available. We now have them. Number 13, Enterprise paid $8.25 for the win and $2.60 for the place. Number nine, our mana also paid $2.60 for a place. And number four, Dylan Dale, one of the relative outsiders, at $7.50. $8.25 and $2.60 for the winner. $2.60 also for the second horse. And number four, Dylan Dale, $7.50. The Quinella, nine and 13, was $29.30. And we don't yet have the trifecta. There'll be a lot of interest in it because it was an off-course one. And that, unfortunately, is not yet available. Hopefully it will be before we uh, wrap up the cup result. And so the uh, activity now centres on the uh, presentation area where the winner of the Max Harvey Auckland Cup Enterprise will be uh, shortly decorated with the uh, coveted rug and also the uh, uh, presentation of trophies will take place. Well, it obviously was a pretty emotional moment for uh, Pat Heffernan and of course Mrs Heffernan. Uh, they had come from Palmerston, just uh, a little north of Dunedin and uh, this horse has been in the north. He's had, as Pat said, a very good preparation for this uh, Auckland Cup and uh, with Peter Wolfenden uh, driving uh, uh, another great race, he got the horse home. And of course the horse won very easily indeed, which uh, serves as a good lead up to the uh, Inter-Dominions in Adelaide. John, it perhaps surprised me to see some of the tactics in that race. Were you uh, a little surprised uh, with the run of the race? No, not really, Philip. I think uh, Diamond Moose would want the front if he could get it. He didn't get much peace in front. and. Uh don't really think the, the, the pace perhaps suited him as well as it might have done, but he was gone with uh, about um, 500 metres to run, all credit to the winner. Now the trifecta has come through for the benefit of uh, the off-course investors who were able to take it. The trifecta on the, the uh, Max Harvey Auckland Cup, 13, 9 and 4, paid $1,731.20. Pretty good result for 13, 9 and 4, the trifecta on the Cup, $1,731.20. 1731.20, a pretty healthy trifecta for the people lucky enough to strike it.